First thing I love about Art Studio Pro are the floating panels. They open and as soon as you touch something they go away, but if you open it and move it around, a little dot appears so you can leave it on the screen. And this can happen for any panel. So if you want a bunch open, you can have them all open at the same time while continuing to work. That's great for testing out a bunch of brushes or a bunch of different colors, one after another. Another thing I love are the keyboard shortcuts. They are extensive and they cover pretty much everything you could want to have control over. One thing I especially like is this clear blending in parentheses it says temp for temporary, um, which is great because you can just hold the key down and your brush will go into clear blending for as long as you hold your key down so you can quickly erase with the same brush pattern and then let go and it goes back to normal. Um, and actually, there's nothing that explicitly says it, but that actually works for tools as well. So if you're painting with your brush and you want to use your eraser, you can hold down your eraser key and erase real quick, let go of the eraser key and it goes back to your brush instead of just tapping the eraser and then tapping your brush key. Another thing that is great is all the tools in the, in the tools section can be assigned, multiple tools can be assigned to the same key. So you can just press that key to cycle through them. For example, I have lasso and polygon lasso on the same key. Um, and then I have my brush and my eraser on the same key as well. So I can easily cycle through them. I also love that it has trackpad support, which is great for your, if you have a magic keyboard, um, you can pan around and zoom and rotate, which is really nice to see. That doesn't work in Procreate. You can only zoom, but you can't pan around. And Procreate also doesn't have the floating panels or pinned panels. Everything about Art Studio Pro shows that there's a lot of thought put into the user experience, including the gesture settings. So the keyboard shortcuts were really extensive, and the gesture preferences are also really extensive including settings for a four finger tap, three finger swipe, um, which is an easy way to adjust your brush size and opacity. You can also have a different setting for just a one finger function, which I leave on normal because I don't want accidental taps, but then you have a quick double tap, triple tap setting, and I like this control option, holding control and option and moving to adjust brush size and opacity as well. It's a nice addition. I originally started with Procreate and eventually I started to feel the limits of its user interface and already had Art Studio Pro. And once I got used to it, it was a little overwhelming at first because of everything you can do with it. Um, you can customize this whole top toolbar as well. Um, in this menu here and there's a bunch of different tools and actions you can pin up there as well and i realized that it basically has everything procreate has as far as the user interface uh, and much much more which is why i love it